Hi, it's January 2014 and this video is being made to introduce our new online reservation system. Uh, it's really easy to use and we just want to go over the details of it just to, uh, to help our customers that are used to the old system. First of all, you go to snugharbor.net and then at the top of each of our pages you click on the reservations button and that takes you to a page that uh, gives a couple options um, but to make reservations and get your reservations confirmed as quickly as possible you go to the 2014 reservation button uh, before you do this you might want to look at the park map you might pet policies or rates um, if you have questions you use this button but let's say you're ready to make a reservation or to at least look at what's available the dates you want to come you click on this reservation button and it takes you to our new online system run by a company called Interres. Um, the other company uh, kind of moved out of the country the one we used to use so we decided we want to stick with an uh, American made and based company so that's why we made a change and we actually think you'll really like this system so let's say that I want to make a res reservation for this summer let's let's look at July um, let's say I'm gonna I want to come in like July 24th and I'm gonna come in for four nights so I click on the four and there's four people in my group and um, you can add in the kids and pits and all uh, pets and all that that is important but really what I want you to see is this word type that means the type of unit or situation uh, you're looking for campsite means temp site cottage or RV site um, okay so I'm gonna look for I'm gonna check for availability if you don't pick one of those you're gonna have the system look for everything we have for those dates and that can take longer so it's really better to say okay I'm only looking for RV sites or I'm only looking for the snuggle in cottages so now what we came up with is uh, for those particular dates we see RV6 is not available but RV11 is available 16's not 17 is 18's not 19's not and then you keep going down and you can pick what's available so um, if I'm I'm set on those days I would make a reservation by clicking on whatever it says available to it would have to be green if it is red the, it says not available so I would pick on make a reservation and it would calculate how much it is um, for those dates and then you could add actually a dock space um, and that kind of thing if you wanted to or you can say no thanks you'll do that later or let us know later it is really good to add this so that you reserve the dock space if you're bringing um, a boat but you can wait on that if that's your choice so then you go on and it's going to tell you the base rate for RV side 11 for those four nights noting that um, holidays and um, summer weekends are going to cost a little bit more. It's like 52 a night instead of 50 a night for the waterfront with full hookups. Anyway, you would fill out the form and you have to agree to the booking terms, which you can see by just simply clicking on the booking terms. I'm going to do that right now. See, you can see they're there. And you fill it out and you submit it. Now, I'm going to actually back up. Let's see if I can get it to back up where I want it. I'm backing up so let's say I decided okay I really want to be in RV site 18 and it's not available those dates um, sometimes people have specific sites they want so so what you can do is go to the details calendars and photos for that particular site and you can see that there's this little slideshow that you can slow down because sometimes it runs a little bit Fat, slow and then you can you can go through it so you can see the pictures related to that particular site and or <laughs> snug harbor too <laughs> there's we get fishing pictures and all that and then sometimes it goes a little faster anyway so you go to the bottom and it gives you details about that and then also you have this a calendar for only RV site 18 
So we can see that it's already getting booked and let's let's back up. Let's see it's not available uh, in July very much, but okay, so I could switch and I can see uh, June 19th through 22nd, I could get my four days. So then I would know, okay, maybe I should change my reservation to that. So all this to say, you click on home, again, you just go to snackharbor.net, click on reservations, click on the uh, big old yellow button, and go from there. I hope this helps. Bye.